Hi there, Amy here, and today I have a couple of gender-neutral birthday cards to share with you today. For these cards, I decided to use my Distress Oxides. I have been collecting the new colors as they come out, but I haven't been using them as much lately. I've just been gravitating towards dye inks, so today I decided I wanted to bust out my oxides and the old school blending foams and get to work. So you'll see here I'm just using a few different colors. I have Salvaged Patina, Prize Ribbon, which are two of the newer colors, and then Walnut Stain. Um, I decided I wanted to try and blend these three together. I haven't used this combination before, so I'm kind of winging it. You're going to see right along with me whether it worked or not. Um, but I start with the Salvage Patina on one side of the panel and then start with the prize ribbon on the other. Now, I seldom use these blending foams anymore either. I've kind of been in the habit of using my blending brushes. But I've found that I think I actually prefer these foams with the oxides. There's something about them being a hybrid hybrid, and the, the properties of it that are like pigment ink. I think the thickness of it, it just seems to work better with these blending foams for me lately. So I'm just kind of going back old school to the blending foam. Um, but I still definitely prefer my blending brushes for any dye inks. But I'm just going back and forth. As you can see, I'm pretty rusty. <laughs> it's not the best blend, um, but going back and forth does help to smooth that out somewhat. And with the plan that I have for the card as well, you don't need a perfect blend. Um, the detail that will end up on the card will definitely help hide any imperfections. So don't be intimidated and feel like you need to do, you know, a perfect ink blend for this technique because it's very forgiving. So I'm just kind of going back and forth with the three colors to blend it out. Um, it didn't look like there was a lot of salvage patina in the end when I was done. If I did it again, I think I would leave more room for that beautiful new color. But I am pleased with how the panel turned out. Just kind of going back and forth. And then there's my panel. This is an A2 size piece of 110 pound cardstock. And here I have the rattan stencil from A Colorful Life Designs. And I'm showing you here, this is just water that I'm spraying on it. This is the technique that I'm going to try. Um, I normally don't spray it over my work surface, but I wanted to show you. Um, and I just lay it right down on the ink blended panel and use some paper towel on top of it. Now, as you'll see in a moment here, very, uh, very anticlimactic. The reason being... Um, because I wanted to show you spraying it on camera, I didn't get enough water on the stencil. So um, rather than giving up on this panel, I decided to just spray it again off camera, off to the side there. I'm really kind of saturating it and then shaking off a lot of the excess, but there's a lot more water on it. Um, you see I'm trying to line it back up, but then I'm like, meh, it doesn't matter. And honestly, you'll see in a moment, it really... It didn't need to be lined back up perfectly so you just put that water saturated stencil right down on that water reactive ink use a paper towel or a rag to sop up the excess tap it on top and voila look at that isn't that gorgeous so this is a fun way to use your water reactive inks um, I have a few more distress oxide colors here I have weathered wood Shabby Shutters and Rustic Wilderness. Rustic Wilderness is another one of the newer ones. And again, I'm winging it with this blend. I have no idea if it's going to look right, but um, it seemed good for me here. So just going to kind of go through. I have this sped up substantially, so no, I, I don't ink blend this fast. But um, a lot of people struggle with making, you know, gender neutral or what they call masculine cards, things like that. So the way that I tend to do it um, is to keep it simple, honestly. Um, lots of geometric shapes. I mean, these colors, these designs, these could appeal to anyone. Um, so these are definitely a, a good option to have in your stash. So just keep it simple. Don't need a lot of blingage. You don't, you don't need too much. Just use some nice colors and keep it simple. Do something geometric. So here I'm going to use water again, but I'm doing something a little different. I have this background stamp from Hero Arts, and I put it right in my Misty 
facing upward. I did take the insert out because it is a rubber, red rubber stamp. Um, but I'm gonna do the same concept. I'm gonna apply water to the stamp and then put the panel down on top of it. I'm trying to get my inky fingers clean before I make a hot mess of my panel. But anyway, I'm just gonna spray the water down right on the stamp, which I have in my Misty. And I just use some temporary um, low tack tape to kind of hold my panel in place. And then use my press tool to kind of really get it in there good. I kind of thought having the stamp on its back, any excess water would kind of fall into the little grooves of the stamp, which ended up working really well. So you can see here, I'm kind of doing the same thing, just using a paper towel to get the excess and check that out. And you know, honestly, as it dries, it gets even a little bit more noticeable, the design. So bust out those water reactive inks. If you have distress oxides, I mean, use some water, use your stencils, use your background stamps. This is a really fun way to, you know, really stretch your supplies. And here I'm just showing you, I used my favorite stitched um, rectangle dies just to kind of cut them a little bit smaller than an A2 size. So they'll have a nice white border on the edge of the A2 size card base. And here I'm showing you my sentiment book. I have a sentiment book and I have a critter book if you wanna learn more about that. Um, I'll link that video up in the top right corner. This is part of my batching process. I have a lot of stuff ready in advance. I'm kind of flipping through my birthday sentiments um, simple strips from Tailored Expressions. You can buy those fabulous little storage boxes to hold them. And I'm just kind of picking out the pieces for both panels. Um, I do decide to go with that cute little yay, but I want to combine it again with a, a sentiment strip. So I'm also deciding I want to pick some to go on the inside for both cards. And I love the starkness of that black and white. Here I'm showing this is a adhesive backed foam that I used the die cut that cuts out all these little perfect sentiments from Pink Fresh. Um, I also have a video about this process and I'll link that in the top right corner if you want to check that out. But basically I'm just kind of picking the pieces parts that I want to put together to finish these cards. Um, these would be great for anyone. Uh, they're gender neutral. That's that's the point of them, right? <laughs> so I hope this gives you some ideas. Um, just kind of assembling, using some adhesive, attaching it to an A2 size card base, um, using some little Doris foam strips to pop up the sentiment strip because there is some dimension behind that, that little yay. And then I just use some liquid glue to put the other sentiment on the inside of the card. And then I'm basically going to do the same thing and just assemble the next card. So honestly, guys, bust out those background stamps, bust out those stencils. Uh, it's such a fun technique. Sometimes I forget about it. Um, but these distress oxides are so fun when you start incorporating water into the mix. So just going to use some liquid adhesive to put down this little dude. This is a cool reflective cardstock that I had in my stash and I do kind of pounce off that excess glue on some scrap paper so it doesn't squish out the sides of my my die cut. And you'll see here I'm kind of messing. I want to cut the little bit of the the foam off of the little strip where it's going to be overlapping the E because I want it to be flush. I don't want it to stick up higher in that in that spot. So again, use some liquid glue, attach the sentiment on the inside, and that finishes my two cards today. I hope this gives you some inspiration for gender neutral or masculine cards. Um, I really like how they turned out. I had fun playing with my Distress Oxides, and I think, I think it's reignited my love of my Oxides. So I've fallen in love with them all over again. Anyway, if you enjoyed these cards and my video, I would love it if you hit the thumbs up and considered subscribing to my channel. I will put all the product links and details in the video, video details box below, so just expand that and scroll down and you'll find out all the information there. And I really appreciate you watching. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you've tried this technique, if you love it, if you're going to try it or just to say hello. I love your comments and I read every single one of them. So 
Thanks again and have a great day. I'll catch you next time. Bye.